Hi, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements, as well as the MoviePix.com Guide to Premiere Elements. Here we are in Photoshop Elements. Now, a long-time tool in Photoshop Elements, an invaluable tool that not enough people have explored deeply, is something called the Shape Tool. Shapes in Photoshop and in Photoshop Elements have some unique qualities. They don't have any resolution, meaning you can resize them without them breaking up and you can recolor and customize them to a certain extent. Now, if you're creating shapes, say arrows or, or some other kind of shape that you'd like to use in a program like Premiere Elements, Photoshop Elements Shape Tool is just invaluable. Now here on the toolbar, about two thirds of the way down here under Draw, you'll see the Shape Tool. What shape appears here depends on what shape is selected in the Tool Options bin below. And you'll see some common shapes so you can set it to rectangle or rounded rectangle. An ellipse, which you can constrain, of course, into a circle. A polygon tool, which gives you the option for creating a polygon with however many sides you need. Likewise, the star tool, however many sides or points you'd like to add to your star. The line tool, which is invaluable for me. I use it quite often. And then finally, up here at the top, the very first one is a custom shape tool. Now, the custom shape tool, if you have it selected, opens access here to the library of shapes. And if you click right here on the tool options bin, you'll see these are the default set of shapes. And there's some pretty cool ones here, snowflakes and splashes, hearts and check marks and basic shapes. But go up here to the shapes categories list. You'll see a number of categories. I'm gonna select all shapes. You can see them all. There are hundreds of shapes in here. Look at all these shapes, fruits and vegetables, anything you could want. And of course, lots and lots of arrows and basic shapes, police badges, airplanes, whatever you need. Let's go ahead and select this swirling shape here and we'll close that. And when I draw it or drag it across there, you notice that the shape takes on whatever color is my foreground color selected here at the bottom of the toolbar. Once I select the selection tool or the move tool, I can resize it as much as I like, as large as I like, as small as I like, and it does not change the resolution. I can also apply to it, once I uh, go ahead and, and lock in its shape or in size, I can also select it if I go back here to the tools or have custom tools selected on the toolbar, I can also apply bevel shapes to it, make it three-dimensional. And of course, as you know, if you read my books, if you go over here to the layers panel, you can click on this little FX for the layer that the shape is on. And if you click on that, there are a lot of customizations you can do to the bevel, to the glow, to the drop shadow, whatever you'd like to add to the shape. You can do a tremendous amount working with the library of shapes that are here in Photoshop Elements. And if you have not explored this amazing tool, you ought to explore it, especially if you're just creating graphics to be used in a video or a photo. This library of shapes is just invaluable. I just love it. Now, if you want to know more about Photoshop Elements, in fact, if you want to know everything about Photoshop Elements, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about this terrific program, you want to see my moviepix.com guide to Photoshop Elements, which is available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grizzetti. I hope to see you soon.